Make sure you're subscribed to Stand Up On The Spot. There's new episodes every other Monday on this channel. And leave a like and a comment while you're here. Now enjoy the show. Thanks so much. Welcome to Stand Up On The Spot. How's everybody doing tonight? I am your host, Jeremiah Watkins, and let's get right into this. We the Comedians are coming up on stage with no prepared material. We're going to ask you, the audience, for suggestions. You're going to yell stuff out. We have to create stand-up on the spot based off those audience suggestions. Who's ready to kick this thing off, huh? <laughs> All right, can I get some suggestions? Teacher with prosthetic tits. <laughs> Way to, way to kick off the show in a progressive. <laughs> Here we go, okay? Um, uh, if you guys aren't aware, uh, there is uh, there's some controversy surrounding a teacher who is, uh, they're a trans person, correct? Man, are you setting me up to freaking fail right now, dude? Are you trying to freaking set me up to fail in front of this crowd, dude? The first thing out of the gate, you want me to talk about this teacher, dude? Do you feel the room, how cold it got as soon as I, as soon as I just said, is the person trans? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> Let me come back to that one. How do you, how, how about I come back to that one? Maybe let's get a few under our belt and then maybe I can black belt judo that suggestion with this crowd. Cool, we have a deal? Oh, now you're disappointed, huh? <laughs> now you're freaking disappointed at me, dude. Fine, okay, let's go right into the flames, right <laughs> right out of the gate. Uh, I never had a teacher with boobs that big. Uh, I mean, I think every kid wanted to. I think it's a dream come true for a lot of children. <laughs> now, do the parents agree? They don't because they're jealous that they didn't have teachers with that big of poops. Freaking next suggestion, dude. You try to throw me under the bus right away. What else we got? What else we got? Pregnancy. What's that? Pregnancy. These are fun so far. Okay. Uh, pregnancy. Uh, I have a, I have a son, uh, and uh, my wife was pregnant a while ago, and I think that there's a fun area like uh, there's a gray area b before you can announce to the public that uh you had sex with your wife uh this kind of fun it's kind of a cute like kind of phase between you and your partner where you're like i, I can't believe this is happening like everybody's gonna know that i i blasted away inside of you But this is our little secret right now. Is that fun? Like only you and I know that I just like I, I ruined you down there. I just I just left it in and it felt so much better than leaving it out. And you know what's really exciting is like as soon as we announce it, then your mom and your dad are gonna know I left it in. And then everybody's gonna say the miracle of childbirth. And I was like, huh, yeah, miracle this. <laughs> I, uh, why don't they call uh, semen on men miracle whip? <laughs> I think that should be a better name than jizz or different stuff like that, you know? I feel like I did pretty good with that suggestion. Next suggestion, what do we got? Putin. Putin. I know, there's poutine everywhere in Canada. <laughs> uh, Putin. Uh, are you a fan of Putin? No. Okay. Was that the same guy who yelled out the suggestion? <laughs> or was that just somebody else like, I am not a fan. I don't know why that guy brought that up. This is a comedy show. I'm trying to escape that right now. What else we got over here? High school oh, theater. High school theater. Huh, you're reading my vibes, huh? <laughs> like, this guy freaking knows a thing or two about high school theater. <laughs> Did you do any plays in high school? Yeah. Yeah, what were they? Uh, Sherlock Holmes, Anna Green Gables. <laughs> yeah, a couple of them. Okay, well, you don't have to whip your clit out. 
<laughs> I get it. You're a star, all right? <laughs> what? Two lines? Heck yeah. Uh, I played in a grade school uh, uh, musical, uh, Heidi. I was Peter. Um, and it was weird because we were such a small school that my sister played Heidi. And I'm from Kansas. That's already weird enough. You know what I mean? Like why, like, why was my sister my love interest? Like, they didn't have, like, I was the only boy who could hit those high notes, though who could yodel and hit that falsetto, you know what I'm talking about? So they're like, you have to love your sister. <laughs> and it, you're the only one that's available at this private Christian school. <laughs> you're the most talented boy in the age range between nine and 12 we have, Jeremiah. You have to be into your sister just for this play. And this was way before Game of Thrones. And I was like, this is weird, but... I feel like, you know, I started a trend. Uh, next suggestion, what do we got? Chlamydia at the doctor. Oh, uh, well, sorry for your loss. <laughs> Chlamydia at the doctors? Are you speaking from pers personal first-hand experience? Yeah, yeah, six pills and it's over. Oh. Six pills and it's over. <laughs> wow, this guy knows how to party, dude. <laughs> I mean, if that if he is that public with that information, Be aware. dude, I mean, dude, you're like, uh, you're spreading the good word of chlamydia right now. Uh, what else do we got, huh? Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. People tell me that I would like that. <laughs> I always take offense to that. You know when somebody like says like, you know what you would really like? And I'm like, what? They're like, Dungeons and Dragons. I'm like, what? Why would, why'd you say that? Like, what about me would you think that I would like? Dungeons and Dragons, they're like everything. Everything about you makes me think that uh, you would like Dungeons and Dragons. I did a, a Dungeons and Dragons music video parody Of, uh, do you remember that Katy Perry song, California Girls? Uh, we did a Dungeon Master Girls. And it, back in the day, went semi-viral. So that's something, a little bit of homework to look up. And your boy played a level 20 wizard, baby. So, yeah. Uh, some people think that, that nerds don't have sex, but I, I feel like a lot of nerds have more sex even than people who think that they're cool. Because like, if you're a nerd, you are obsessed with something. That's like what qualifies you as a nerd, right? So if you're obsessed with something that's like kind of solo activities and you happen to meet that one person that also likes that activity, you're not letting that person go. <laughs> You're just like, okay, you wanna play some Dungeons and Dragons and then I'll suck your dick all night long? Like, uh, yeah! Uh, are you my soulmate? Uh, yes? Oh, wow, that was a level 24 blowjob. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's grab one last suggestion. What do we got? Magic mushrooms. Magic mushrooms. <laughs> this guy goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> let's freaking go, dude. Have you ever done magic mushrooms? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> was it a good trip or bad trip the last time you had magic mushrooms? Really good trip. Really good trip? A while back, though. A while back? Yeah. Is it still happening right now? <laughs> I just need to check real quick. Is, is, is it anything happening? <laughs> Are you having a good trip or a bad trip? <laughs> Ready to kick this show off? Woo! Your next comedian coming to the stage uh, is coming all the way from Vancouver. He is a Just for Laughs alumnus, and you guys are gonna love him like I love him. Please welcome my pal, Marito Lopez, to the stage, guys. Come on! Don't look at the ass too much, sir.
All right, y'all, are y'all ready? Oh, I can't fucking wait. What do you have for me? Truck nuts. Truck nuts, oh, I love it. Thank you, sir. I love good white topics right out the gate. All right, I'm from Alberta, do you understand? I came out of truck nuts, do you understand? Right, I love truck nuts, right? Because Alberta's homophobic as fuck, but their trucks are phallic as a motherfucker. Right, you might as well put a dick between the fucking mud flaps, let's do it. Go the whole way, baby. Why stop at the nuts? You know what I mean? Get a, get a, get a truck dick, let's go! You know what I mean? And ladies, put some pussies on there. Let's get a truck pussy. Right, you know what I mean? This is inclusion, sir. Right, do you have truck nuts? I do not. You do not, you do not seem like the man who does. You look like it, but you speak like a man who has Bitcoin. Next suggestion. Next suggestion, goddammit, let's go! Wearing socks to bed, let's go! Can we get any whiter? Yes! I've never understood. Yo, my ex-girlfriend loved wearing, going to bed fully clothed, yo. What the fuck is the matter with you? You know what I mean, you're that cold? You would have died in the wild, bitch. You're shivering at night? You gotta put, you gotta keep your feet covered? That's the first thing I take off! When I get home, bro, I throw my Tims off, fucking rip my socks off. Oh, if I slept in socks, I would serially kill people. All right, next suggestion, let's go. I'm killing it right now, okay? What, tattoos? I have, bro, I already have jokes about tattoos. Let's go. Give me something I don't know about. Truck nuts. Hair. Hair. Oh, wow! Yo! This bitch, she said hair. What are you gonna say next, height? Oh, uh, yo, this lady said hair. That's fucking cruel, bro. This lady, look at my biggest ailment. She was like, what's his biggest disability? I don't have hair, it's gone. God took a lot away from me. He took away height. He took away the hair and I used to have beautiful hair, bro. You guys think I look Latino right now? It used to be curly and popping and it would drip with coconut oil. Okay, I used to look like a poet from Peru. All right, instead of what I look like now, which is a racist Halloween costume. Right, I used to have hair like Antonio Banderas, bro. I didn't even used to fuck with my dick, I fucked with my curls. Oh my God, I was beautiful, bro. I was so beautiful with the long, thick curls. Oh, I'm still beautiful, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for her, everybody. Brown, Brown is in fact beautiful. Let's go, more suggestions. Let's hit them at me, everybody come. Come at once. Bitches! Children! Children! Reggaeton! Reggaeton! <laughs> Guys, can we talk about how reggaeton is the new hip hop? Let's go! You know what I mean? I'm tired of this. Let's go, bro. I'm done with country music. Let's stop talking about Britney Spears and all that. It's the new era. It's the new era where people like me make dope music. Fuck yeah. That's not even a joke. I'm giving you a TED talk now. <laughs> You understand? I'm giving you a TED talk, baby. You don't even know what reggaeton is, or maybe you do. Maybe I'm judging a book by its cover. I don't know. Maybe you're wearing leopard print panties right now. I have no idea. You know what I mean? Maybe you have Cardi B lyrics all over your back. Who knows? All right, what else? Come on, man, hit me. Finance bros. Finance bros. I fucking can't stand y'all. You know what I mean? I can't stand finance, bro, because my finances suck. I don't know about Bitcoin. You understand? I have Bitcoin. That's all I have. That was too racist, sorry. You know what I mean? And by finance, bros, I mean white dudes, okay? White dudes on Bay Street. Stop fucking sliding into my DMs. All right, telling me, be, telling me about being financially stable or independent. Oh, you know what? I, you know what? You know who looks like a finance dude? Jeremiah. <laughs> Doesn't he 
Jeremiah looks like he runs five pyramid schemes. But that's good though, right? Suggestions, let's go! Conspiracy theories, oh my God! Let's go. You know what, man? I'm gonna give you guys a conspiracy theory that I genuinely believe in, okay? I honestly think that Noah's Ark was real. I do, I don't believe, I don't believe in like the, the rest of the Bible, but Noah's Ark is real, bro. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Right, because if it's not, I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to live in a history where there was two zebras on a motherfucking boat and there was a big flood and all the bad people died. Right? What that, doesn't that make you feel better? <laughs> Makes you feel better about life. You know what I mean? Two of each, bro. Anyways, okay. All right, man, let's bring back Jeremiah Watkins, everyone. <laughs> Guys, give it go for Marito Lopez. Uh, so we're gonna take some suggestions together and see what we can do uh, and riff on them. So, uh, so let's grab a couple. Let's see what we got. The movie Twins. That's that's just hurtful right there, bro. That is hurtful, bro. That's my boy right here, yeah, man. How you gonna boy. do him? How you gonna call him Danny DeVito? And me yeah, Arnold bro. Schwarzenegger right now. You give me Danny DeVito. Right? What about Kevin Hart, dog? This guy said I think Danny DeVito when I see this little Latino man. NFTs. What's an NFT? <laughs> what is that? Uh, an NFT. Uh, it, it's it's like uh, essentially digital art that you can sell that that only you own. Uh, yeah. You online. have a face that's perfect for explaining things like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Dude. Okay. I love it. No, no, no. Uh, what else can I help you with? Here? <laughs> uh, Anything my... digital or like. For commerce, I'm, I'm going to him. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, if I need a churro, then you're my guy. Because <laughs> you got a wife beater on? I mean, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bro, I know about every churro you can get in the city, though. That's a fucking fact. Uh, what, what else we got? Zombies. Yeah. Uh, so you, you said you want to believe in uh, Noah's Ark. Do you think that we're going to have a zombie apocalypse eventually? No, I don't believe in that kind of shit. <laughs> okay okay what would be okay uh it's a, this is a good litmus test to see like how tough we both are if yeah. a zombie outbreak happened in this room yeah. right now yeah. what would you do i would i honestly think i would excel you know what i mean <laughs> right because i have a lot of energy bro i would eat people do you understand <laughs> i would survive and i would and i would impregnate women so, Consensually. So let me just break, let me just break consent. down with consent. Let me just break down what he just said. Consent. If Where's a zombie camera? outbreak happens, he is going to start eating people and impregnating women while other people are getting eaten. Just so he can be the king of the hill at the end of it, like, hey man, you're technically related to me now, so. <laughs> Yeah, and then that way I become the first monarch of the new. That's you know, cool. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, a good okay, plan. I just wanted to it's break it plan. down. Thank you, Pop. See, and that's me explaining to the audience what you were saying. <laughs> we're a good duo. We're a good <laughs> duo, bro. Uh, let's grab one more suggestion. Pop-up video. Hookahs. Pop-up Hookahs. video. Yeah. And what was this one right here? Hookahs. Hookahs. Oh, ho hookers. Oh. Yeah. I, okay. Fuck yeah. Have you ever... Uh, I love, I love supporting sex workers so much. <laughs> There's not even a joke there, I just love it. Thank you for being, for existing. What kind of, what kind of sex workers are you into? Whoa! <laughs> I love the strip club. I love, you know, the strip club, I love them all. Uh, OnlyFans, if you have an OnlyFans, I'll be at the back of the show. Just, I'll write it down on my muscle shirt or whatever. I support you. <laughs> this is so weird. Why did I end like this? Honestly, you know how much of a pervert I am. No, honestly, the weirdest thing to me that you said all of that was you called that a muscle shirt. 
I just imagine, like, like, I'm gonna put on my best muscle shirt for the show tonight. <laughs> Guys, keep it going for Marita Lopez. All right, your next comedian coming to the stage is another JFL alumnus. She's a writer for Letter Kenny. Please welcome Allie Pierce to the stage. Come on! <laughs> Buddy cop movie. Did they think when they came out here? I was like, oh my god, that is gonna get made. Uh, how you guys doing? Everyone's doing good? Woo! Yeah, this is great. You guys are a great audience. Um, okay, let's fucking do this. Last thing I was like, Barbie. Camping is insane. I know when people are like, I want to go out and ruin my own day, I'm like, go camping. That is, <laughs> camping is so weird to me that people are just like, put everything you own in one place. I can't even talk about it because it makes me so mad. But I will say this, why leave toilets? I don't understand why people don't want toilets. It's like, anyways. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Okay, I, all right. Ooh, I got a lot to unpack here. Um, I feel very strongly that like, okay, I, I'm obsessed with skincare and I'm getting older and I feel it and it makes me very nervous. And I like, every day I'm like, okay, you know what? We're spinning on this rock and we're just like doing this thing. And it's so crazy to care about stuff. And every single morning I wake up and I'm like, should I get Botox? Like that is a real, but I don't want to do it because I know that I can't stop. Like I have no, what's that? Just do it. Do, okay. She thinks I'm hideous. That's amazing. Um, give it up for my mom, everyone. <laughs> Somebody works for Big Pharma. Uh, <laughs> I do, I am afraid to start like getting work done because I won't be able to stop. Like if I start, I'll get like, I'll get like my toes done. You know what I mean? I'll get like little implants in my shoulders or something. So I don't, I don't want to start. Cause I, I, I have no, like if there's, like I have no impulse control. The only thing I have imp impulse control with is like drugs. Like I would never do coke um, unless it's around. So if, <laughs> guys have any uh, <laughs> okay let's do another one oh man my favorite cartoon I don't think I've seen a cartoon okay well family guy probably what's yours the Simpsons okay I feel like I feel like Marge Simpson is like unreasonably hot for Homer don't we think that isn't that like insane how did she how did he manage that it's so crazy i know i'm no marito let's keep going um this, okay someone's been going through my searches that's insane. i actually feel like cartoon porn is kind of great because it like doesn't hurt anybody uh, except for the person who's like furiously drawing uh, that's it. Uh, I, I, I don't watch cartoon porn. I will say this, I do, okay, this is so embarrassing, but I like gangbang porn. <laughs> I forgot we were taping this. Um, <laughs> once again, sorry, mom. I, <laughs> I do, and people are like, that's insane. And I'm like, it's a woman at the center of attention. Like, obviously, hello, what are we doing here? Uh, okay, let's get another suggestion. Mothers. Mothers? Yeah, we actually covered that already. Uh, <laughs> Go, you're really on this gonorrhea thing, huh? <laughs> do you have it and do you need guidance? Uh, <laughs> people who talk at comedy shows. People who talk at comedy shows? That is you. Um, <laughs> and normally a nightmare, but tonight, gorgeous. Give it up for yourselves, guys. <laughs> Okay, let's try, let's try, let's keep going. Boy band, bad breath. Stay low. All right, listen. You guys said a lot of things. Uh, of course I heard anal. Uh, anal is like the thing that you promise to get a boyfriend and then you pull it away. 
It, it's just like a weird. I, it is something that I genuinely think like every woman who's entering into a hetero relationship is like, yeah, I'm not like other girls. I'll do it. <laughs> and then as soon as he's like, let's go, she's like, I actually don't feel well. So I'm gonna go lie down and then we can revisit this later. Um, <laughs> okay, let's do another one. Fish. Okay. I'm a vegetarian and I don't know. It's like, I don't really like, people could do whatever they want, but anytime I like talk about it on stage, a guy will always come up to me after the show and, and, and they'll be like, uh, cause I think that if you want to eat an animal, you should kill it. That's like kind of my vibe. I, th I just feel like you should have to be the one to do it. And anytime I've said that, guys will come up to me after the show and they'll be like, I'm not afraid of blood. I'll kill an animal. I'm like, you won't even talk to your girlfriend when she's on her period. So <laughs> forgive me if I don't believe you. <laughs> all right, let's do another one. Weed stores. Okay, weed stores are all gonna close very soon. <laughs> and then we can finally get all our storefronts back and I can't fucking wait. <laughs> okay, let's do one more. Okay, bachelorette parties are insane, right? Like, I, isn't it crazy that when people get married, you have to remortgage your house? And also, I knew that wouldn't work here because none of us own homes. <laughs> All right, guys, let's bring Jeremiah back up, everybody. One more time for Allie Pierce. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Let's grab a couple suggestions. Uh, decaf coffee. You ever, are you a caffeinated Ooh, kind of person? Are you a decaf? caffeinated queen, absolutely. <laughs> a caffeinated queen, I like that. Yeah, I, I like actually don't have a personality. I am one of those, like. Until you get your yeah, coffee? Yeah, 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 it's bad. See, I used to work at Starbucks and you were the woman who I feared in the morning. Yeah, and as you should, as yeah, you should. Yeah. I was a barista for a really long time and I worked at this place where I, I had control over the bathroom key and it, ooh, it gave me power because <laughs> customers only, that was me, customers only, and it was, yeah. Wow, was your not face cute. changed know, when you did that. Customers only! It was a different, I was I like, you want this? <laughs> People would come in and they would be like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, not good, obviously. Like, I don't want to be here. It was yeah. so bad. Yeah, yeah, I hated it. Yeah, barista, being a barista is uh, tough, uh, yeah. especially when you have, um, you know, uh, people who can disorder. see through the glass, you know, <laughs> as you make the drink and stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah. it's nerve wracking. It's very nerve wracking. I had a, I, I had a lady who, uh, she, she always wanted decaf, but she was just very mean with her orders, and we're like, she never knows the difference. Let's give her caffeine today. Just ruin her life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She literally takes one sip. She goes, there's caffeine in this. And I was like, oh, it's like, oh, 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 which, which? like, why are you drinking? Decaf. I don't know why that she wanted so to That is so weird to me. I don't she understand was, maybe it. Maybe she was so type A that she's like, yeah. like, like she wanted control over everything. Like, no <laughs> substance will can, <laughs> you, know, you know, affect me. I once had a woman order a, a, a drink with seven shots of espresso. Isn't that? Yeah. I'm just like, do cocaine at that yeah, point. Yeah, just do drugs. Just legalize Jesus. cocaine yeah. at that point. Yeah. Or just like order, have it on the menu. You know yeah, what I like, mean? Are you going straight to the hospital with that drink? Like, yeah. that's insane. Yeah. Order a black coffee with a little eight ball on the side. You're good to go. Uh, what other suggestion we got? I know. Afterlife, Thanksgiving, and sex in the city. Afterlife, Thanksgiving, sex in the city. Any, any jump out? Afterlife. Afterlife. Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird way of saying heaven dead. or hell. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah. Um, do you believe in an afterlife? Um... I, I do not. <laughs> okay. I do not. I do not. And, okay. and sorry to let you guys sorry down. Sorry to let you guys down. Yeah. Sorry to especially let my dad down. Uh, yeah. It is. Hey, Dad, you're nowhere. You hear that, Dad? He's you're like, nowhere no. right now, Dad. You can't even hear this, Dad. I'm going crazy right now. Yeah, no, he can't hear it. That's the point. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think we, you know, like, you know, if any of us saw all dogs go to heaven, you know, <laughs> I think we felt better about life after we saw that yeah, movie. Yeah, it's true. Right? 
I actually don't care if people go to heaven. I do care if dogs go to heaven. Do you think there's a dog heaven? Yeah, okay. there has to be because I have a dog and the thought of her being over absolutely ruins my life. What if there is a dog hell? How weird would that yeah. be? <laughs> we always talk yeah. about all dogs go to heaven. I want to see the movie All Dogs Go to Hell. Honestly, that sounds rock and roll. It does, yeah. right? Yeah. Like. Dude, just Satan's on his throne, and then just like dogs are just like reliving trauma. Anyway, uh, it's just a Sarah McLaughlin commercial always playing in hell. <laughs> I feel like that'd be pretty interesting. Oh my god. Let's grab one more. Stepsister. Okay, enough with the porn. Uh, Were they, there's that many suggestions there was for you? There's a lot of porn. Shit. <laughs> I like how like it went from like the crudest <laughs> stepsister to, all right, well, let's like... talk inflation then. <laughs> I mean, these gas prices are out of control. And you know it's also out of control? My boner for my stepsister. He says inflation, and I know he's talking about something financial, which I'm sure you understand. But I think he's like, okay, stop eating whatever you're Why eating. Why does everybody think I'm this Wolf of Wall Street character tonight? This is so strange. Guys, give a go for Allie Pierce. Man, this next comic is one of my brothers coming in from New York. One of my favorite comics to watch. He has an amazing podcast called Long Days. He has an amazing one-hour special you can watch for free on YouTube called Mom Love. Please welcome my brother Giannis Papas to the stage. Oh, keep it going for Jeremiah, everybody. Yeah. When did Toronto become New York City, dude? This is this is a big ass city. Your traffic is formidable. I almost, I almost cursed some people out from in the car and I wasn't driving it. It's getting close. The city's getting frustrating. It's a, you, it may turn Canadian people mean. That's how frustrating this city's getting. It's really crazy, dude. It's like New York with Indian guys in Toronto Blue Jay hats, you know? That's a little spice that gives it the Toronto feel. And the compulsory mask, what the fuck's going on with that? The airport, you gotta wear the masks. It's like, dude, this is Canada. Weren't you guys forced to get like your 20th boost by now already? It's like women haven't had their period in a year. It's all right. Let it happen, Canada. Okay, suggestion from the audience. Subway. Subway? Like the sandwich shop or the train? Oh, I can do whatever I want? I like the freedom here. I thought you guys, I thought this was more of a socialist country, but you guys want me to take it, unregulated, make it a business. Subway, yeah, I'd like to open a franchise here. That would be, that would be nice, right? It would add to your cuisine, which is pretty bland to begin with anyway. <laughs> Subway, eat fresh. Thank God it wouldn't be in Montreal, right? I'd have to put it in French or something. I'd have to call it Les Subway. <laughs> Just good old English. What about Jared Fogel? Jared Fogel? Good guy, you know? <laughs> I think he's a kindergarten teacher in jail or something like that. <laughs> That's actually when cancel culture started, I think. Jared Fogel, when they took a look into him, I mean, he probably just didn't want to get too famous. Like, he thought he was going to do one campaign, get enough money <laughs> to run his own, like, you know, island where he could do what he wanted. <laughs> and then it just got too big, man. It got too big. <laughs> He got smaller eating Subway, but his fame got bigger, you know? And it got taken down. You gotta fly under the radar. All right, another suggestion. You say Titanic? Titanic. Those were the good old days, huh? Good old days where you could... Land acknowledgement. Land of what? Acknowledgement. Land of acknowledgement? Dude, I don't even know what that suggestion is. Are you reading poetry on your phone right now? What? <laughs> land of acknowledgement. I don't even know what to do with that. Which land are we talking about? Iran? Because we're not acknowledging that one. That's too much of a sticky situation. Not as sexy a cause as the Ukraine. Which, by the way, if all your tickets weren't donated to the Ukraine, I'm fucking protesting this show right now. <laughs> Titanic, let me tell you. I'm, 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 an equal, I'm for equality with women. I don't like that movie. I feel like that movie was unequal, dude. It should have been 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off that raft. <laughs> that little piece of wood, he should have been like, look, Rose, we're equal. You're on the raft, I'm on the raft. 
Whoever freezes first wins. Another suggestion. Indian food's a challenge every time. Do you think the waiters at Indian restaurants just, when they see a white person walk into the restaurant, they just yell chicken tikka masala? They're like, we already know what your order is. It's our least popular dish. It's not even a real Indian dish. We just made it up for you people. Two tikka masalas. All right, another one. Greek Easter. Greek Easter, the real Easter. Yeah, your guys' Easter is just a dress rehearsal for the real one that we do like two weeks later. Greek Easter, it's, a, you know, it's Greeks that we have a different Easter. It comes later and it's interesting. We get, we march outside the church, 300 people with just carrying candles, like walking with fire, disrupt the whole neighborhood. So if you look out your window and you see like 300 Greeks <laughs> chanting with candles, you're like, is this, is, are, is Game of Thrones shooting a new season in Toronto? What the fuck is going on? Are our Cossacks coming to rape us? <laughs> All right, one, one mas, una mas. Royal family. Royal family? How come you have like a New York accent, that guy? I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> and royal family. I'm like, what part of Toronto are you from, dude? You from the Danforth? Royal family. Yeah, what a fucking crock of shit that is. It's like crazy. The royal, it's like, I can't believe there's like, England is like cool with that. Still having like a queen and a king. You have one here too? I don't even know. I don't pay attention that much to Canada, you know? Well, my God is Trudeau, okay? All right, I'm coming back up here to go to a costume Halloween party with him, so. <laughs> Ceremonial queen and king. It's ridiculous, man. It's like celebrating like a feudal system and oppression. That's all that was. The queen and king, they pillaged. There was no upward mobility in a feudal system. It's like, might as well have a ceremonial dictator, you know? <laughs> Germany should still have like a Fuhrer, but just ceremonial, you know? <laughs> he just comes out like, hello, yes, how's everybody doing? Yes, everybody just, we're just here to represent the country and we're going a little march and so are some ceremonial ovens there. They don't use them. We don't use them just to look at. The taxpayers love it. Look at that oven. <laughs> By the way, there's two jobs that Germans should never be ever allowed to do, and that is be a baker or a train conductor. That... <laughs> Imagine being a Jew and getting on a train and hearing, hello, stand clear of the closing doors, please. <laughs> All right, guys, let's bring the great Jeremiah Watkins back up here. Yo! Keep it going for Yanis Papas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Yeah, man. How you been? Good. Good. How about yourself? You get into to Canada all right? I got into Canada all right. It was tough. I mean, the customs was tough on me until, and then I was just like, you know what? I just said, hey, look, I'm a Syrian refugee. And then they just, they let me in, and they, they, they gave me a house. So I live here now, so. That's how you get into Canada. Just be like, I'm from Iraq, I'm fleeing a war. They're like, take the country, it's yours. Uh, what do we got? Ice Machine, Godzilla. What was this one over here? Billionaires going to space. I like billionaires in space. Billionaires in space, yeah. Yeah, that just shows you how disconnected you get when you get a billion dollars, right? Yeah. Your ideas are just like, yeah, we'll go to Mars. And then you're like, well, you, nobody can breathe there. Like, we'll nuke the poles. You're like, what? <laughs> Like, we'll figure it out. It's like, hey man, you could like, you could make everyone be able to have a meal on this entire planet in a roof. You're like, nah, dude, you're not listening to me, okay? We should live on Mars. Yeah, it's weird when you see firsthand, like your friends or family, like how money affects them once they get a taste. Oh you know? uh, yeah, everyone's liberal till they get rich, right? Yeah. Then they become socially liberal, fiscally conservative. My, my brother, uh, we had this, uh, this New Year's Eve where my mom uh, in Kansas, she rented us a stretch uh, SUV limo for New Year's Eve. And 
like my mom always says this 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 quote. She always says, "We're gonna be somebody tonight." <laughs> That's how you know we're white trash. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, like you know that something's like, like, like we're trying to compensate real hard for like a whole life. Like if you're like, tonight's gonna be different. You know? Did you did you take the stretch limo and pull it right into the parking lot of a Denny's? Is that what happened? <laughs> Just pull up to a Chick-fil-A. Ah, we're eating it style tonight. Just, just stunting on people? Yeah. Uh, we pulled up, though, and uh, this is how I knew my brother would be a terrible person with money. Like, as we were driving by, he was rolling down the window and fake coming on people. <laughs> as we just drove by, and I was like, what are you doing? He's like, isn't this great? <laughs> and I'm like, you should never have money. <laughs> Have you ever had someone in your life where they've changed, like, when money? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're in comedy, all my friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, you used to have a heart. Like, fuck that. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm rich now. So, yeah. yeah. It's a billionaire. A billionaire in America is what? Like, 100,000 an air in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> You're booing now because you don't have a billion dollars. Once you have a billion dollars, you're like, I'm moving to Florida. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? What else we got, guys? Did you say exchange rates? I don't know, dude. I don't understand your money. It's like, you guys, it's like you carry around gold like this is medieval Europe. Go to the store to buy a pack of gum, you just pull out a bunch of toonies and you're like, clank, 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 clank. You just push silver across the table. Is this enough, sire? <laughs> I just need to get maxi pads for my wife. <laughs> it's all I require of your service here at the CVS. The CVS receipts are just like manuscripts. Like, yeah. in my time. They look like scrolls. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Lots of coupons. House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. Are you watching the new House of the Dragon? Yeah. yeah. You, you, you watching that? I don't watch it, but don't these people live beyond the wall, right? You gotta go. <laughs> in a month, you'll turn into White Walkers. We are the North! We are the North! <laughs> Like, dude, you guys are not that far up. Maine is farther up than you. <laughs> you're not the north. You're four hours from Syracuse. That's where you are. <laughs> Me and my father's father are from the north. Yeah. <laughs> let's grab. Uh, let's grab one more suggestion. Oh, yes. Prop, Prop comedians. Prop comedians. Prop comedians. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the those comedians are the ones everyone makes fun of, but they're the ones that really figured it out, no? <laughs> they get some big laughs. Yeah, and especially now where people get like very uh, everyone's sensitive. Yeah, we should bring puppets back and just be like, huh? and then like people get mad at the puppet, come up and punch it, you know? And right. Like, Take out all your aggression. Yeah. On the puppet. Say all the jokes you want to say just through a puppet. I mean, Jeff Dunham had it figured out for a while. I did. Yeah. <laughs> to be able to say the yeah. wildest things. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I am jalapeno. I miss this. And you're like, is the white guy controlling that Mexican puppet? He was like, this is Ahmad the terrorist. Mahanda Ande! Mahanda Mahanda Ande! Ande! Death to America! Dude. Everyone's like, fuck that puppet. He's like, yeah, I know. It's like, it's you, dude. It's you. And no, it's not. That's Ahmed. Dude, if those were the ones that made it into production, <laughs> what do you think of the puppets that didn't even make the cut? Oh. Because even Jeff Dunham was like, this might be a little bit too bad. <laughs> He's like, I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. I eat boys. <laughs> Hello, my name is Hans, the Nazi. Uh, Hans, what did I say about your Jew talk? I'm Jordan Peterson. <laughs> oh, uh, gender is just a thought. <laughs> my name's Andrew Tate. Get a supercar. Get yourself a supercar. Women are not homo sapien. <laughs> no matter how much they talk and they walk, they may appear to be bipedal homo sapiens, but they're not. They're not. They're just tools to use to get a supercar. Andrew. Andrew, stop. What a misogynist, what huh? A, he's the worst. God. <laughs> Guys, give me go for you. Thank you, everybody. That was
I would stand up on the spot. Woo! Keep it going for all the comics that you saw tonight. Giannis Papas. Ali Pierce. Woo! Marito Lopez. Woo! I'm Jeremiah Watkins. Woo! Toronto, you've been lovely. If you're ever in the States, come see us every second Tuesday of the month at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. I love you. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Ha ha ha, loft.